On this short cast, we'll show you how the event One Night in Asia celebrates Asian culture. And the Warrior Transition Command for the U.S. Army is making their selection for the players in the National Wheelchair Basketball Team right here on your campus. Also, business fraternity Delta Sigma Pi's UTA Chapter Zeta Mu is teaming up with local artists and musicians to raise awareness for domestic violence. Your short cast begins now. November is Asian Heritage Month at UTA. Multicultural Mavericks is celebrating Asian culture with the second annual show, One Night in Asia. The event showcased diversity in Asian cultures. Performances include a variety of singing and dancing. Shortcast photojournalist Richard Hong has more on the event. One Night in Asia where people showcase their talents in uh, different cultures through performances such as singing and dancing. So we're, while we were dancing, you could hear them all screaming, yelling, yelling each name. Like standing ovation at the end, everything, so it was perfect. Uh, being on their game 24-7 for the past three and a half weeks, um, you know, all the hard work finally getting to see on the final front against the stage. It's, it's, like a, it's like a really nice feeling, like through your body, that runs through your body whenever you see all your dancers out there. This kind of like taught me that there are other groups that I could join that could teach me more about Asian heritage. I hope that you know it, it brings more diversity uh, on campus. Uh, it shows that our Asian culture isn't just uh, secluded to uh, our own Asian you know, people, but it's also to like different people in general, uh, different population on UTA campus. The U.S. Army's Warrior Transition Command hosted their wheelchair basketball clinic here at UTA. The organization is looking for new members to be a part of their Wounded Warriors basketball team. Military members who are in active duty and the reserves or veterans can be a part of the team. Moving Mavs and Wounded Warriors team member Anthony Pohn says being a part of the national team is encouraging. It benefited me a lot because it gave me a chance to like compete for something that I believe in, you know. And even though I had a traumatic incident with my ex and all, I can still go to college and I can still compete at a at a um, at a very competitive level, which makes me feel whole again. Those selected to be a part of the team will compete in the Warrior Games next year. Business fraternity Delta Sigma Pi's local chapter Zeta Mu is raising money and awareness for their benefit, breaking silence, a stage for the courageous. The event included an art exhibit, silent auctions, fajita buffets, and live music. All proceeds go to the Circle of Silence, also called SOS, at Zach's Ridge. Event manager Lori Dunham says her personal experience with SOS led her to this cause. And after going through the training that SOS at Zach's Ridge provides, I found a mission, I found a purpose. And when I came across the idea of domestic violence, I realized that my mission was directly in line with that. And now my mission is to help invisible people be found or to be seen and for um, their voice to be heard. And so victims of domestic violence, their voice isn't always heard. And so I just felt like it was a um, perfect fit. For more information on SOS at Zach's Ridge, go online to www.sosinc.org. Be sure to check out the shortcast next Monday for more news on what's happening on your campus and beyond. I'm Brianna Bolton. Thanks for watching the shortcast. Thank you.